Welcome to the world of SmartCam, toolpath generation software for CNC machine tools. Our systems originated in the early 1980s and we're still going strong today. Each new release of SmartCam delivers interesting and exciting new features and functions. This presentation of SmartCam Milling will show you how you can use SmartCam to generate toolpath using solid model data. Brad is going to provide the presentation. SmartCam version 16 introduces two powerful new solids machining toolpath generation processes to SmartCam advanced milling, advanced turning, and freeform machining. Solid pocket roughing and solid profile finishing quickly and easily generate toolpath directly from the surfaces of a solid, regardless of pocket feature complexity. Today we will show how these processes greatly simplify the creation of toolpath for prismatic parts, saving you considerable programming time and reducing the chance of errors. This model contains typical features found on many prismatic parts. We will create a pocket roughing toolpath which machines the different shelf levels as well as the pocket through hole. The new processes are accessed via a new solids machining toolbox. The new solid machining processes support a true 3D tool offset as well as a uniform 3D allowance or independent 2D wall and floor allowances. For this example, we will use a width of cut of 0.2 and the default depth of cut at 0.5. We'll turn on the 2D allowance option and specify a wall allowance of 0.01. Then turn on start Z level and indicate that machining should begin from the top horizontal surface. We'll specify a through clearance of 0.05 to ensure the tool cuts the through pocket past the bottom of the part and specify a ramp entry angle of 10 degrees. We select the floor surfaces Use add adjacent surfaces to select the remaining pocket surfaces Then add the top surface We create the toolpath by choosing Go Notice how a depth level has been generated for each horizontal face and that the through pocket cuts pass the bottom of the model by the specified clearance. Now we'll simulate the machining of the pocket feature using show cut. Each depth level is roughed in turn. And lastly, the through hole is cut. See how the rough stock precisely reflects the pocket feature, and that at no point was the creation of wireframe geometry or hand editing of the final toolpath required. Now let's define a solid profile process to cut away the 0.01 wall allowance left by the roughing process. We'll mask the roughing toolpath to better view the part. We will use a depth of cut of 0.5 and a 3D finish allowance of 0.0. Again we'll set the start Z level to the top surface and specify a through clearance of 0.05 for the through pocket. Since we will be using lead in and lead out, we specify the start end positions to place the leads in a safe region. We define the line arc lead in and out. Specify a line length and arc radius of 0.25, a line angle of 0, and an arc angle of 45 degrees. Generating the profiling toolpath is now as easy as clicking go. Note that the closed profile passes have their start end positions close to the specified point where the lead in out can be placed safely. And again, the through profile cuts past the bottom of the model by the specified distance. 
Let's use Showcut to verify both the pocket and profile processes. While this demonstration has shown the capabilities of these processes on a prismatic part, in freeform machining these processes can be applied to a feature that contains complex surfaces. Solid pocket roughing and solid profile finishing processes quickly and easily generate tool path directly from the surfaces of a solid, regardless of pocket feature complexity. For more information on SmartCam, Check the SmartCam website or consult the SmartCam help files. If you would like more information on or to receive a no obligation trial, please send an email to sales at smartcamcnc.com.